Welcome back everybody to YouTube again. This is the second half of the film that I did from the zoo park or the zoo beach to here to the oasis. Well, this is the oasis again and I will be taking you to the lighthouse like I had said earlier. But before I do that, I wanted to let everyone know today is September 22nd, the last full day of summer. And as you can see, the last day of summer, we're going to take a quick glimpse at the beach and say holy seagullness because there's nothing but seagulls perched on the beach. But in that note, you see the lake behind us and all that. Let's take our little stroll to the lighthouse. Um, like I said, there's a, path, there's a path that will take us to the lighthouse. And we are going to the path. And we are walking. There's people. Hello. YouTube video. So um, here goes the um, women's section. The back part. This is the women's section. And up here it says... Beachside Oasis also. I'll get a closer view. It says Beachside Oasis and here's the women's bathroom. Of course I don't have the urinals, but it has the toilets and the um showers. So and this is like a little boardwalk on the beach. Hey little baby under us. But this is like the little boardwalk of the beach and we will be coming back on the um bike lane coming back from the lighthouse. But the bike lane is there. So I will show you the bike lane probably the next film because I'll be going to skate park this weekend. And we, I'll show you the whole bike lane from that point here, this point here rather to um, skate park. But like I said, this is a mini boardwalk. It's not as big or as extravagant as Coney Island, but this boardwalk would take us to a park called Pirate Park where the kids can play. And there's all kind of swings and everything, but on the, on the other note, this is the shrub, the little hills I was telling you about the other day, or yeah, the other day, or, or yesterday, whichever way you want to put it, but we had the delays and filming and down, uploading and downloading, but this is the hill where I was telling you about that separates, um, like, or sort of separates the beach from the um, dock, but you will see as we get to the dock that how it's connected in the front end of the beach. Yeah, along the shore, but here we are still walking on this little boardwalk, and there's some office building, factory building with um the, over there with the antenna, Wi-Fi antenna, whatever that is. And you can hear the kids already playing at the park, but we're not in view yet because we got the shrubs, and I need to stop shaking. But I'm trying the best on that one. You can have this one. I'm trying the best on that one, but like I said, I'll get used to it. And when I get my 100 subscriber, I will work on getting a video camera so I can stop all the shaking. <laughs> but here we are. We are all approaching um, um, Pirate Park. It says kids. Uh, I hope you could see. Yeah, I'm sure you could see it. I could, I could see it. And this is Pirate Park. And the boardwalk somehow is being under construction because a car thought he could fit up here and right onto it. But we will be approaching the dock shortly. But here's a look at the um, pirate park. See, and there goes the um, bike bike racks. Kids playing. And we got a detour. Now we're going back onto the bike path. This is the bike path that would take us to the um, skate park. But here's pirate park. A little big playground. It's not really that little. We almost sort of approach. We have kids cold. We almost sort of approach to the boardwalk, and there goes the yacht club that I was telling you about. Yeah, and there goes porta potties. Didn't want to see that, but I guess we could see that. There goes the little um, kids riding around. But there goes the porta potties. There goes the rest of the park, and then in front of us there goes the dock that I was telling you about on the last video. And here, yeah, well, this is very interesting. Very interesting. But here's the rest. There's little swings there. You could play tire swings. I know the tire swings. I know that people swinging. But man, this bike path will keep going down more. You'll get to see it on my next adventure when I go to skate park with my nephew. Like Sorry, and when we get in the way of the bike, or two, <laughs> or three, or three. Or three. Or 
right no fall but like i said this is um this is the end of the this is the other end of the beach there goes the um dock we will be approaching hey y'all i mean if you say hey y'all right here in front of us that's some hill of some sort i don't know what's that about but it got like if you see it got silver muffler looking things sticking out i don't know what that's for and there's a car approaching which is I guess it's going to the yacht club because that's the entrance to the yacht club. You have to be a member only. Yacht club. Yeah, you have to be like my nephew said, you have to be a member only for the yacht club. But there's people coming in and out the yacht club. But here we are, we're now approaching the docks, which you will see. And it will take us to the lighthouse. It's going to go straight for a bit, then curve. Then, yeah. I, then um, there goes the no swimming sign. I'm letting you know because I don't think I you can see y'all subscribers of the people out there next week of showing downtown racing. Yeah, no, uh, feel free to subscribe to me. I, that will be well appreciated. I love your comments and all that too, but we'll get to that at the end of the film. But like I said, there's a sign that says no swimming, which I'm saying it because I don't think you can see it because I see it closer, but on this phone, it's kind of far because like I said, I got to get used to this phone. I don't know how to zoom this phone. But, so if any inconvenience that I may have caused, like I keep emphasizing, but I am new to this stuff. Here it goes, we're gonna be getting a very close view of the lake at a nicer aspect. Like I said, the other day it was choppy and wavy. Now it's, ni it's nice and calm. It, it wasn't coming above the shore like we seen on the last video. But there goes music. Yeah, you can hear music and all that. That's from the Yacht Club, from members only. But here we go. We're on the dock now. We will be approaching the end where we got to make a curve. or makes like a slight right turn. But here's let the dock. Know, let me tell you something. What's better than the cleanest, cleanest, beautiful beach in racing? Then better in Milwaukee, then different Milwaukee where it's all dirty and this and this and this. So you know what? I like racing better so yeah as you can see the water is crystal clear you can't see the bottom as i'm looking at it and as your viewers are looking at it you could see the bottom and all that there goes the yacht club like i was telling you and this is the dock and we were way down there filming the other day as you can see down there there's zoo beach more towards the end like where you could see that zoo beach that's where we were did our first film if you remember, if your viewers checked it out yet, yeah, please feel free to check it out. It's called Racing Zoo Overlook and Racing Beach. Feel free to check those videos out. You will enjoy those too. And I'll be open to any feedbacks or opinions or criticism, like I said. But here we are on the boardwalk. There goes the lighthouse up ahead of us. I don't know if you viewers could see it, but I could see it kind of clear. It's, look, it's right behind the yacht club. But we will be approaching that in about, I want to say five minutes, hopefully. But like five minutes or so, we'll get to it. But there goes boats, sailboats out in the um, always not ocean, but on the lake. Sorry about that. You can see boats out there. You hear the fog horn to let the boats know they're getting close to shore. There's fishermen up ahead of us and all that. So as you can see, the fishermen, they catch carp, porch, um, water bass, sweet bass, all kind of good fishes. Those of you who like fish. Because I know I do. I love fish of any oh, kind. Why? Fish fry, whatever you want to call it. But like I said, there goes the um, lake. Beautiful lake. Boats are out in the horizon. People are fishing. We walk in the dock to get to the lighthouse. We will be there momentarily. So you, you can look at the view and see how beautiful the lake is. How crystal clear it is. You see, and then you see... You, you can see the deep end out there where the boats are at, but it's crystal clear. It's a beautiful day for the last day of summer. Like I said, today's the last day of summer. Tomorrow, the autumn walk equinox, sorry about that, the autumn equinox starts at 4.40 Eastern time, which might be 3.40 Central time to um, 1.40 Pacific. But like I said, today's the last day of summer, and it's a glorious day here in Racine, in Wisconsin, southeastern Wisconsin. You could, yeah, it is very good, glorious. But there goes the um, thing that's making the noise, the foghorn. I don't know if you can hear us or hear it. Yeah, you can hear us. But I don't know if you can hear it, but it's down there. Let the boaters know they come close to shore. 
But here we are. We almost to the lighthouse, guys. Just bear with us for a second. And now we're going to stop the shake on the stopping the shaking. But here we are. We're going to about to make the little sharp right curve. And there you go. You can see out just a plain old lake. How beautiful it is. Beautiful Lake Michigan. There goes on people fishing and all that. Hope they catch something or what they ever catching. Hello guys. Hello. Yep, they f they're fishing, probably catching porch or sweet water bass. But here, see, here we go. Now we're on the approach to the lighthouse. We should get there momentarily shortly. I'm trying to make it. See, there goes people fishing. I don't know if they go crabbing here, but I don't want to say hello. hello. YouTube video. So I don't know if they're um crabbing or what they catch here with the with the net, because in the ocean, in the East Coast, where I live at, they usually crabbing and fish at the same time. But he, I know he's fishing for the same fish that the other people are trying to fish for. But here goes the lake. Now we're looking southwards on the lake. We're heading south towards the lighthouse. And we will get to the lighthouse. There goes the yacht club from the view we at now. You see the yacht club and rocks. Sorry about that. And you can see downtown Racine behind rocks. But like I said, we're going to go to the lighthouse. The kids climb up there and all that. We're going to climb up there and we're going to take a good look of the lighthouse and the view. And you can see the idea of where we came from and what we're talking about. Then the other side. The other side is a little overlook also that we have to cross a little bridge on Main Street, which you'll see tomorrow as we, um, or this weekend, tomorrow this weekend as we go to Skate Park, you'll see us cross the bridge. And then one other day I would take you towards that overlook where you could look towards the lighthouse. And they got to watch it here because it's a little bumpy and risky and I might fall in the water. I don't want to do that. Right, it's too early, to, it's too cold to swim, it's still summer, but I don't want to take that chance. But we almost to the lighthouse. We got about a couple of minutes left. There goes the water hitting the um, little shoreline here, that the, the way they made this. And this is a conduit of some time, I guess it was a wire that used to light up the um, lighthouse, the electricity for the lighthouse. The conduit's in pieces, but you could see the marks, and the, um, marks from the pipeline as the electricity used to flow through to the lighthouse and it was closed for quite some time. But here, here take a little view of the, of the um, lake. See how the boat is out there, how the fog, um, foghorn buoy, or whichever you want to call it, is out there. Yeah, so this is amazing how big this lake is. But yeah, it looks like an ocean because you can't even see the horizon even though it's like only 82 miles across. It seems like it's 8,200 miles across. It's amazing how big and wide this lake is. If you know, you see it on the map. So here we are, the approach again to the lighthouse. There goes the rest of the conduit and a bunch of bugs. That's the part I don't like. But like I said, I hope to get, I'm trying to get better. I'm open to any opinions and all this so you can enjoy the video better. And I need to stop the shaking. I work on that too. But I'm new to this, so. But here goes, there goes people at the lighthouse. People climb up to the lighthouse. Like we are about to do it, like you'll see. They climb up to the lighthouse, then climb down and then go on their merry way. And we are about to do the same thing. We're going to go to the lighthouse, climb back down and go on our merry way. And we're going to move out the way so they won't run us down with the bikes. But here they come as they went to see the lighthouse. So we will be there momentarily. Here they come. Don't want to get in anybody's way. See, they went to the, now we're going to do the same thing they did. They went up to the lighthouse, climbed up to the top, and we're going to do the same thing. Then I'll close off for now, and we'll be on our merry way. 
yeah, that's the top of the lighthouse. They haven't used it, like I said, in many years. They they have the new lighthouse now, which I will show you. And I will take you there one day. It's the white lighthouse, which is by three mile road or six mile road. My mistake. But I will show you that as we get there. But now we are at the approach of the lighthouse. You can see the missing steps that I told you about. And the way we have to climb up there, and the way and we're gonna park up a bike out the way so people could pass. Here we are. This is the bottom of the lighthouse. Messy situation. Sorry about that, but here we are. We're gonna climb up the lighthouse and hope we don't break nothing. Wait, let me go first. Okay. Now he's gonna film me as I climb up and try not to kill myself. And then he's going to pass me the phone and he's going to make his way up to not kill himself. <laughs> so here we go. Oh, shoot. Yeah, like that right there? You got to be careful, kids. Do not try this at home. Because <laughs> you will hurt yourself and condemn yourself. <laughs> yeah. You can do this. Now, I'm going to watch my nephew climb up. Here's the view. Sorry for that shakiness and all that, but we was climbing up. Uh-oh. There's a big gap. And I don't want to split my pants. Now here goes my, he's climbing up. Do not try this at home, kids. Do not try this at home, kids, because this is extremely dangerous. Now here we are on the second part of the lighthouse. See, you can see where we were at. There goes North Beach. There goes, there goes the white lighthouse, white lighthouse, if you can see. I don't know if you can see. There goes the yacht club. There goes downtown. Now, here we are. We're going up steps to the last part where we can get the high view. Now, this is the high view. There goes the other overlook I was telling you about. We get to see. There goes the boat coming into the yacht club. There goes downtown racing. Skate park is down there, about another two miles. I'm out of breath on that one. There goes downtown racing. There goes the yacht club. So there's Main Street, the bridge I was telling you about. There goes all of that where we came from. You can see the whole dock from here, from where we started. Isn't that amazing how it just curves? And then here goes the rest of the lake, the rest of North Beach. You can see Zoo Beach a little from here. I could. I hope you viewers could see it. Let's see. And then there goes, there goes, as we go along, to the White Lighthouse, which is Six Mile Road. But this is the lighthouse that they haven't used in years. It's kind of creepy. But like I said, they haven't used this in years. So we're going to be heading down. And when we get to the bottom, we will be signing out. And I will get back to you tomorrow, probably in the neighborhood, or if anything willing, where I won't kill myself. Hopefully, don't try this at home, like I said. But this is the lighthouse. There goes your lake. Oh, there goes the rest of the pier. There goes the sea. Isn't that amazing? Well, there goes the whole view of Racine, the North, North Racine or Northern Racine. And there goes the view of Southern Racine. But like I said, I will be signing out for now. Please feel free to leave any open comments, feedbacks, opinions, criticism. I'm open to all of those to make the video better. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you did enjoy this video. If you're going to watch it, please subscribe to me at Quantum Leap. That will be well appreciated. So thank you, and everyone have a great night.